Bentley. Very light weight, lots of power. I got a better nice one. And over the line. Time for Susan, 36.03. 312 people are shouting times at me. Right, we've now got the little MG of Colin McClutchen, the uh, MG Midget PAPB, uh, complete with the little brolly on the back, which may, if the weather turns nasty, be handy. That's the hood, isn't it? That's the hood, yes. Yeah. What, uh, the Riley Special, Peter Graham? Uh, no sign of that today, right. not seen him at all. Here's right. the TA, yes, there's the brolly in the back. Engine, little engine hammering away. Three nine point three something. And now we've got Mike Moore in the 1934 Lagonda. Started as a saloon, now a monoposto. It was built into a single seater in 1999, and uh, he won the uh, pre 47 class yesterday. Have a look at this car in the paddock if you can. It's beautifully built. A jewel of an engine, the twin cam, little one and a half litre engine. Hi. Mike competes regularly at Chelsea Walsh. Thirty-three point eight three. Stuart Gordon now in the trice. That's Basically a Morgan three wheeler with an extra wheel at the back. Eleven uh, hundred cc jack engine, side valve, and. Uh, Actually firing on both cylinders on this run. Had a, a moment when it went on to one and a half in practice. Did Stuart build this car? He's had it since Noah was uh, I'm gonna say you, I think he must have done. And his time was? 3.17.4. Right, we've now got, uh, this looks like uh, Gary White in the Riley 1240. Uh, it took four years to rebuild this. It was finished just in time for last year's event here at Bowness. And since then, Gary has been competing in virtually every VSCC meeting up and down the country. The Alvis that was here yesterday is not here, sadly. A beautiful Alvis 4.3. Here's the Riley, looking absolutely right, based on a saloon. Time coming up. 35.78 for the Riley. 35.78. Is that the quickest? No, the Lugondo might more. Now we've got Stephen Smith in this little uh, Austin 7 monoposto that he built himself. Uh, originally a four seater Austin Ruby saloon. And uh, it was built into a single seater uh, 15 years ago. And uh, he, he actually lives one and a quarter miles away from the circuit. Do you mean he creeps in and does secret practice? Possibly. Isn't he lovely? I love that little body. I'm talking about the car. And his time was? 36.64. Right, 36.64. My timekeepers up here are expecting to be paid for their efforts, but... <laughs> Just like I got, I got that beer yesterday from the rugby club. Did you get it in the end? Of course I didn't. <laughs> oh, right. Martin Campbell's Alster. That uh, Jim, isn't it, at the wheel? Is it Jim? I think it's the father. Yeah, here he comes now. This is the 1935 uh, Le Mans car, one of three that was entered by the works. Crushed at White House. Then in 1935 it also completed in the TT at Dundrod. And in 36 in the French Grand Prix at Montclairy just outside Paris. There's a famous oil painting of the 1935 Le Mans uh, showing uh, Mr. Heinmarsh who won in a Lagonda and in the background is this car upside down in the ditch. <laughs> it's been recovered and its time was? 37.99. Right. We now have um, Little Sanderson in uh, Chrissy's favourite car here today, the Austin 7 Special, with the Hamblin kit. Uh, sits very high off the ground. It's a big, uh, baby bathtub, isn't it? Well, I, I didn't say that. Second in the clash yesterday behind Mike Moore, uh, and uh, has a propensity for lifting a wheel. No, it keeps all four wheels on the ground. Looks like a little jet boat. Fantastic, I love it. And his time is 
Right, we now have, um, this looks like number, what, well, ah, a very late run for number 115, David Smith in the Alvis 1270, Monte Carlo, third in the class yesterday. Not sharing this car today. It doesn't look like it, yeah. no. And uh, you'll be glad to know that the timekeeper is coming up with a new uh, toilet roll in the um, booth before. Oh, I've got some great help up there. David Smith through in the courtyard, over the line, in. 36.53. Right, well the Jaguar is uh, charging down into the hairpin now, complete with the uh, onboard cameras. So some of that footage I'm sure will be on YouTube early next week. So, quick uh, look at the times. And in the uh, pre-1931 class, Sue Shoesmith is leading on 36.03, with Jock McKinnon, who won the class yesterday, second on 37.8. I'm afraid I can't tell you the time that Bob Tal did in the Morgan. Right, I've, I've got a 41.3 something. Good. <laughs> um, into uh, class three, and um, quick scan down the times, and it looks again like Mike Moore is in the prime position on 33.83 with the uh, lovely Mike.